for some of you, this would be your absolute dream. Anyone for a pint of cheese? Oh. Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Hope you're well. Uh, welcome to our kitchen. I don't know what that was, sorry. But today we are doing another recipe on the Barry Tries playlist. Part of the playlist where I try uh, viral recipes from chefs, uh, blogs, uh, famous platforms. We've done quite a lot of TikTok ones recently here. But there was one in particular, a company called Chef... What's it called? I know them because they do these really weird videos. Chef Club. Now if you're into food, you have probably seen one of their videos. Right, so this is what we're doing today. That looks like a block of puff pastry, but no. That is blocks of cheese on puff pastry. You know how much I hate cold cheese. But basically, we are gonna make something apparently called cheese pillows. In summary, we core out a whole block of cheese. The core we reuse and melt up with onions and bacon and parsley and macaroni, which is already cooked, so we're gonna pour that in there now. And apparently it gets baked with an egg on top. It looks incredible. So it's gonna go from this thing for me that I'm gonna be like, really like, oh my gosh, what is this? It's actually gonna have kind of like a crazy ashtray shape that we're gonna like fill with this epic filling. So for me, it's gonna go from this weird cheesy ashtray, solid slab of cheese, which I hate, but then as it melts and bakes through, kind of like fondue itself, sort of in the pastry with this epic filling that is then topped with an egg. I'm really, I don't I really think this is gonna be good. If this does work out quite well, I've had so many requests to do a recipe by these folks over the years that I've, if it does, we will probably try one of their more grotesque desserts because they actually, they are like obscenely bad. I was looking last night and I was getting a sugar high just watching the video. So we'll see how this goes. I'll fancy something savory today and I think it's gonna be a winner. We must now start and focus on making the pillows. This is a test today. We did the hot chocolate machine recently and you didn't get out of your bed. We have bacon today. But here we go. We have got a sheet of ready-made puff pastry. Okay, and I don't know. This might be enough to do the two, but we'll just play it safe, I think. I think it will, you know. I bought some quite small blocks of cheese. Speaking of which, I'm gonna get one of the blocks now. All right, so it's called cheddar cheese uh, pillows, but I wanted to get some red Leicester, some cheese that would stand out a little bit more for you. And apparently we stick it roughly in the middle here. Do you like cheese, Boston? Is that it, right? <laughs> you like cheese, do you? All right. <laughs> this is the part that worries me, is we have to core this middle part out and reuse the cheese. And actually, a pint glass is almost the perfect size to leave Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm after to really put, see, this is my fear, see? That is starting to crack. Oh no. <laughs> and I should, oh, here we go, look. <laughs> I've got a sort of circle here, but look, it's completely dismantled it. I have managed to salvage it, but that is the thing. A bit like the hacks videos, these videos generally, it's like, is this actually true? Take a diagonal incision into the puff pastry. So if I show you from this side first, lift it over and tuck it in to encase it. Oh look, that's actually wrapped around nearly all of it there. Press it in to form that cavity, okay. And then this bit here can wrap around that side, okay. The most important thing is to make sure all of that cheese is hidden. Merge it together, so bond any of those joints and really shape it and press it in so it's kind of like one big piece. We can tidy it up too, so let's just take these bits off. But I really like that. From when we were cutting the cheese out a moment ago and it broke the surrounding barrier or walls, this is kind of like just blanketed it and kept it all together to hold that shape, which of course, hopefully, will melt later anyway. Just one little check around the edges because a few little gaps don't want any of that cheese escaping. It's basically like Play-Doh right now. I'm gonna do another one, but the other cheese that I've got, the cheddar, has been at room temperature. <sighs> no? <laughs> For some of you, this would be your absolute dream. Okay, now I've done that a second time. That was way easier and it looks a little bit neater. There we are, beautiful. <laughs> so we've got one cheddar and one red Leicester, kind of empty pillow. I mean, I'm more calling them 
cheese ashtrays than pillows, but we'll go with it. Anyhow, anyone for a pint of cheese? Oh. But yeah, now we've got these middle parts, we might as well just cut them up a little bit into chunks. Because that is gonna get melted with this. Four rashers of bacon chopped. You also need one red onion, and I have genuine onion tears right now. I've tried sticking my tongue out, which some of you guys have told me helps. Uh, maybe a smidgen of oil just to get it going as well. Ooh, here we go. Flavour Town. That is looking so good. About another minute or two, but whilst that finishes off, uh, over the last few years, some of you guys have been messaging me about doing some video messages for your friends and if I had a cameo. I have just signed up to Cameo this morning, so if you do want a video message for a birthday, uh, anniversary, or uh, exam good luck message, I've done a few of those on social media, but I'm finding it so hard to get through all my messages now that um, Cameo is actually a good place to do that so I can manage it all in one place. And uh, I was actually in someone's wedding speech, which was pretty dark cool so a lot of you guys have been asking me about that and uh, if you want to have a look on cameo i don't know why you would want a, a message from me but um i am there now and uh yes this is about to get even tasty that smells so good charred bacon it's gonna cook a bit more caramelized onions but now we cool it down that is milk straight on there our cheese so we're just stirring this through over that heat that milk will help break down that cheese. Oh my goodness. It kind of looks like we're making an omelette or a frittata, but most of those cheesy chunks now have melted. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and merged in with the onions and bacon. That is amazing. It's a bit thin, but let's pad it out now. <laughs> my macaroni is kind of cast <laughs> into the shape of the pan that I left it in. Love that. I remember a video, one of the very first videos I ever did, I tried to like present rice really fancy and I stuffed cooked rice into a glass with peas and lifted it out so they obviously set in place and I had this skyscraper of rice and peas. <laughs> All right, so we've also got some parsley uh, and some paprika. Now this is some Hungarian paprika. This is some sweet paprika I got sent. Oh, I'm loving the stain in the color. I mean, we'll warm it back up one more time. I have definitely got way too much here. <laughs> I even have the ingredients too, but I'm definitely not gonna fit all this in those pillows. So I've just put this back on the heat. Look how vibrant it is, the color. Just to warm it up again gently, but as you can see from that amount there, Oh, I forgot to say, I kept these uh, in the fridge because I wanted the pastry to kind of firm up. I found in the past, if I just leave it out at room temperature, it could just literally dissolve, um, which might not be a problem, but I just don't know if it will hold its shape. But look, the cavity <laughs> to fill with all this. I mean, you're gonna need a bigger boat. So this is the stage right, okay? So we've got the filling goes in, and then you put an egg on. Now look, once it's done, see that? Put pasta on, all that stuff. There is no traces of the egg white, so I assume it's gonna soak in. And also, the instructions, the actual method, says not to put the egg on, to bake it, and then put the egg on, then bake it again, which I don't think we should do, because the instructions called a few of the other ingredients something completely different anyway, so I am following the video. But I've got a feeling that my egg white is gonna just sort of soak on the top and be like some very different looking thing. That aside, I think if I just stopped and ate this now, Oh my gosh, that is like glorified mac and cheese. That is amazing. Oh, no, we've got to carry on. So let's try and fill. Oh, actually, okay. That's a good heaped tablespoon in there. And it's gone about halfway. See that? Like two big old tablespoons of that filling. And I'm just gonna try and make, actually with the back of the spoon might do it, but I can poke a little hole here for the egg yolk to sit on. Here we go. Crack the egg on. Oh my gosh, see, look at that egg white. Poke it around a little bit. You see, for me, this is what's gonna happen, in my opinion. I think we're gonna end up having a fried egg, <laughs> like just cooked, or a baked egg, cooked on top. But what I hope's gonna happen is that egg white, as it warms slowly, it's gonna seep through into the macaroni, potentially gloss the pastry to a bit. <laughs> I don't know. Now, it's not telling me to do this, but I just like doing it generally anyway to puff pastry. 
And if it does seep into that macaroni, cheese and bacon stuff, that's gonna be amazing. It's kind of like egg fried rice style with like bits of shredded egg white in it. There we go. Let's bake it, 20 minutes. <laughs> I have no idea. That is the only thing I'm gonna say, folks. Look, you can't see any egg white traces in there at all. I mean, it does look good, doesn't it? We're at that point now. <laughs> I hope it works. All right, here we go. I think one might have exploded. <laughs> oh my word. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. They've got massive. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that is the Red Leicester one. Look, can you see? Oh. Look, like two eyes. <laughs> they got like, the pupils and everything. I am so glad I gave that an egg wash though, because I think that would look pretty bland without it. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> right. Oh, that is really light and delicate. A little bit of pepper, and then a little bit of parsley like that. Oh, my doorbell's gone. What a time to be alive. Okay. <laughs> Shall we have a taste of this? Oh, I mean, the egg, look. It's definitely cooked through. It's got a bit of a skin on it. But I mean, I knew it would be okay because you can bake eggs in the oven for, you know, even under that time. But we just pull it apart like that. Oh my gosh, did you see that yolk? Just spill out there. But where's the cheese? Where is it? Is it in there? Oh, it's kind of turned to like, <laughs> like cottage cheese. It's like firmed up and bonded in with the pastry. Let me just try the other one. Let's see if this one has oh look there's that cheese in there you can see it but it's it's not gooey it's kind of like not curdled but held its shape you can bring it all together like that with the egg yolk but it just kind of oh here we go there's a bit of a cheese pool but it's much firmer actually it's almost more like a paste which if you look look at that I don't know you see I, it was kind of there you're getting a little bit but they weren't showing a huge cheese pool but hey ho I've got this one here now, so I might as well. Oh, oh my word. Extremely comforting, cozy. You know that sort of thing when you have mac and cheese? It's like that, but housed in that extra cheese and the pastry. It's like someone's made the ultimate bacon mac and cheese and just giving it a pastry hug. The egg, you're not really getting any of that at all. Oh, there is a bit of cheese, Paul. Mm. But I will say this, and this is why I wanted to do this. It has gone from me having something that I really detest doing, playing around with blocks of cold cheese, to something that is, well, <laughs> apart from like Nemo here, actually pretty darn amazing. The filling alone, we're gonna have that for dinner, is incredible. I'm not a huge fan of pastry and I respect the work that goes into making that from scratch. We've done that before. But I actually think, yeah, it doesn't really add anything. In fact, it kind of worsens it and makes it kind of sets it apart and makes it become two separate things. The egg in the mac and cheese, yeah, that'd be all right. But I bloomin' love it. So if you try this, send me a photo on your social media platform of choice, tag me in it, and I'll let you know what I think. And then of course, let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not ready. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you later. <laughs>